Let's step back to 1956, the early days of television when shows were finding their footing. Enter a world that became a household name, a world where drama unfolded unexpectedly. As the world turns, a timeless TV series offers a mix of funny, shocking, and sad moments that will keep you hooked. Among the many characters, did you have a favorite? Was it the charismatic doctor or the resilient businesswoman? And speaking of classics, which Hollywood actor from the golden era left a lasting impression on you? Stay tuned because there's a treasure trove of amusing, jaw-dropping, and heart-wrenching facts waiting to unfold. As the plot thickens, you won't want to miss a beat. Before we dive in, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience tied to this series? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your connection to the show is as unique as the characters themselves. Get ready for a journey down memory lane filled with the tales of love, betrayal, and triumph. It's time to reminisce about the moments that made as the world turns a part of television history. I've been a fan of As the World Turns since it started in 1956, and I used to schedule my lunch break around it when I was working. Lately, though, I've been less excited about the show because the storylines seem strange and hard to believe. I check in now and then, hoping it goes back to how it used to be with the original cast and better writing. It's disappointing to see it focusing more on a younger audience, especially when it used to be something special for my family and me. One of the best times for the show was in 1984 when Doug Marlin took over as the writer. That brought in some big changes like the Snyder Farm family and a new actor playing Lily Walsh. There was a memorable story about Lucinda Walsh doing something extreme to Susan Stewart during a Christmas tree argument, which led to Susan struggling with painkiller addiction. The storylines were interconnected and dealt with issues like alcoholism and family problems, making the show more interesting. There were some significant events like Kim Hughes helping her son with his alcoholism and finding out that Bob and Kim Hughes had a long-lost daughter. The drama increased with Tony O'Reilly's and his bad actions creating suspenseful moments. Twists like Julie and Holden's one-night stand and the surprise pregnancy kept viewers hooked. However, as time went on, changes in the cast and people leaving the show changed the vibe. When Connor Jameson's character left and Neil Alcott exited, it felt like the show wasn't as enjoyable. Doug Marlin's death coincided with solving a murder mystery, but it wasn't as exciting as we hoped. When characters like Eva Snyder suddenly got married, it made me feel less connected, and I eventually stopped watching. Even though as the world turns declined later on, it had some great moments. The storytelling in certain years, especially 1984, showed how the soap opera could tell interesting and gripping stories. But as the cast and stories changed, those special moments faded and I stopped watching. He or she was the top-rated daytime soap opera from 1959 to 1971, achieving recognition with a full-page ad in the New York Times in 1965. The show's popularity was due to its captivating stories and engaging characters, keeping viewers across the nation hooked. Notably, it marked the end of an era as the last daytime soap opera produced by Procter & Gamble, concluding a tradition of compelling storytelling. The series made history on November 22, 1963, when CBS interrupted an episode to announce the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. Despite the interruption, the resilient actors continued their performances, and a complete copy of this episode still exists, capturing a unique moment in television history. Over the years, the show experienced highs and lows with changes in cast and story arcs shaping its trajectory. Doug Marlin's tenure as the writer in 1984 brought significant shifts, introducing new characters like the Snyder Farm family and exploring real-world issues like addiction and family dynamics. The drama escalated with plot twists, including unexpected pregnancies and suspenseful actions by characters like Tony O'Reilly's. However, as time progressed, the departure of key cast members and shifts in storytelling led to a decline in viewer engagement. Despite these fluctuations, it retained its ability to tell compelling stories, leaving a lasting impression on daytime television. While some fans lamented the changes and eventual discontinuation, the show's rich history and moments of brilliance, particularly in 1984, remain a testament to its enduring influence. 
As the world turns, a trailblazer in TV soap operas faced an unexpected twist when CBS decided to wrap up its run on September 17, 2010, after 13,661 episodes. This marked the end of a significant era in daytime television. Set in the fictional town of Oakdale, Illinois, the series was among the first two half-hour soap operas to hit TV screens, premiering alongside its counterpart on the same day. Oakdale became a familiar backdrop for the unfolding dramas capturing the attention of viewers across the nation. Throughout its run, the show experienced both highs and lows. Notably, from 1959 to 1971, it stood as the top-rated daytime soap opera, gaining recognition with a full-page ad in the New York Times in 1965. Its engaging stories and memorable characters kept audiences hooked, becoming a household name. The series also made history on November 22, 1963, when CBS interrupted an episode to announce the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. Despite this unprecedented interruption, the resilient cast continued their performances, leaving behind a complete copy of the episode as a unique record of television history. In 1984, Doug Marlin took over as the writer, bringing about significant changes, including the introduction of the Snyder Farm family and the exploration of real-world issues like addiction and family dynamics. The narrative took unexpected turns, unveiling suspenseful actions by characters like Tony O'Reilly's and surprising plot twists, maintaining viewer engagement. However, over time, key cast departures and shifts in storytelling led to a decline in the show's popularity. Changes in the cast and departures like that of Connor Jameson's character contributed to a less enjoyable viewing experience. Despite the fluctuations, the series retained its ability to tell compelling stories, leaving a lasting mark on daytime television. As the world turns may have wrapped up its journey, but its rich history, particularly the noteworthy year of 1984, remains a testament to its influence on the television landscape. The show's ability to adapt to changing times and tell gripping stories will be remembered by those who follow with its twists and turns over the years. In 1960, Eileen Fulton made television history by portraying the character Lisa Miller in As the World Turns. This southern vixen quickly became the longest-running villainess on TV, creating a sensation that resonated with viewers for years to come. Her cunning and captivating presence added a unique flavor to the show's dynamic narrative. After Another World ended in 1999, characters from the discontinued series found a new home in As the World Turns. This crossover not only delighted fans, but also highlighted the interconnected world of daytime soap operas. Blending characters from different shows added an interesting layer to the unfolding dramas within the familiar setting of Oakdale, Illinois. Interestingly, the roots of another world can be traced back to as the world turns, as the latter was initially conceived as a spin-off. Although CBS chose not to air the proposed spin-off, NBC picked up another world, CBS, however, imposed restrictions barring major characters from appearing on the newly adopted show. Mitchell Drew, a minor character from The Brighter Day, managed to make a crossover appearance on Another World, providing a subtle connection between the two soap operas. As the show continued to evolve, facing highs and lows throughout its run, Doug Marlin's tenure in 1984 brought about significant changes. This included introducing the Snyder Farm family and addressing real-world issues like addiction and family dynamics. The show's ability to adapt to the times, introduce compelling narratives, and navigate the departures of key cast members showcased its resilience in the competitive world of daytime television. In 2010, after 13,661 episodes, as the world turns bid farewell, marking the end of an era in daytime television. The series, with its rich history and moments of brilliance, remains a lasting influence on the television landscape. The show's legacy, highlighted by Eileen Fulton's portrayal of Lisa Miller and the web of character crossovers, will be remembered by those who follow with its twists and turns over the years.